All right, let's look at some more polynomial factoring problems. In this video, let's look at three specific examples. And the first example we want to look at is write the linear factorization. Sometimes it's called write the complete linear factorization of g of x is equal to 3x4 minus 4x3 plus 4x2 minus 4x plus 1, given that x minus 1 is one factor. Sometimes it's given the problem uh, states given that 1 is a 0, and it would mean the same thing. Well, the very first thing that I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this factor and divide it into this polynomial. And uh, then with what's remaining, I'm going to factor by hand. And I'm going to use synthetic division. I think it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to go put a 1 out here. Remember, that changes signs. And I'm going to put all the coefficients up here, but not the variables. And uh, what I'm going to do is if there's one missing, I'll put a 0 there. So that's going to be a 3. That's going to be a minus 4. That's going to be a 4, a minus 4, and a 1. And then if you need to review on synthetic division, there's a video, and it's called, appropriately enough, synthetic division. And it does a couple of examples. So let's go and do this. this. You take this 3 and you write this 3 there, and then you multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those two numbers. Minus 4 and 3 added together is going to be a minus 1. Then I'm going to multiply again. Uh, I'm going to add. Add 4 and minus 1 is going to be 3. Multiply one last time. Actually, I, there's one more. 1 times 3 is 3. Minus 4 and 3, I think, is that's going to be a minus 1. 1 times minus 1 is going to be a minus 1, and then that's going to be 0. Now, this is my remainder. This is my constant term. This is my x, my x squared, and my x cubed. So my, I can write in factor form g of x is equal to 3x to the third minus x squared plus 3x minus 1 times my divisor, which is x minus 1. And what I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to pull this up. Again, if you need help with synthetic division, then you can read... Um, watch this video. You could have also used polynomial long, long division here, it wouldn't matter. So let's move this up so we have a little bit more space. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to factor this term right here and I'm going to use uh, factor by grouping if I can. Now whenever you have four uh, polynomial with four terms, you can try factoring by grouping. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's see, here I'm going to take out an x squared. And if I take an x squared out, then I end up with a 3x minus 1. And here I'm going to just take a 1 out, and I end up with 3x minus 1. You can't forget your x minus 1. Whether you write it down at each step or not is up to you. That's going to be x squared plus 1, 3x minus 1. x minus 1. Um, I'm going to take a 3 out there. That's going to be an x minus 1 third, x minus 1, x squared plus 1. And now remember that x squared plus 1, that's the sum of two squares. You'll be able to factor that using imaginary numbers. That's going to be x plus the square root of 1i. The square root of 1 is 1, so that's x plus i. And x minus i. I'm going to put the 3 out in front. x minus 1 third. x minus 1. That's going to be my g of x. And that's my answer right there. That's a complete linear factorization of the original problem. Now, if you notice, the original problem was uh, 3x to the fourth was the leading term, so the degree was 4, so you have four linear factors. And the leading coefficient is 3, which is right there. Let's go on to the next problem. The next problem is find all the zeros of g of x given that minus 2 is a zero. So you have one zero and you need to find the others. 
So again, I'm going to divide. I'm going to take g of x, and I'm going to divide it by x plus 2. And by doing so, then I'll be able to reduce what I need to factor, and I should be able to reduce the rest by hand. Again, I'm going to use synthetic division here, so I have a 2 there. I'm sorry, I have a minus 2 there. You have to be careful with your signs here. The factor is x plus 2, so this will be a minus 2. The 0 is minus 2, and that remains the same. So you have three terms here, three ways to express it. Right? So then I'm going to put a 2 there, I'm going to put a 5 there, a 1 minus 1 there, and a minus 6 there. So this is going to be, bring a 2 down. Minus 2 times 2 is going to be a minus 4, and then I'm going to add, I get a 1. Minus 2 times 1 is going to be, that's going to be a minus 2. That's a minus 3. Minus 2 times minus 3 is a positive 6. Minus 6 times 6 is 0, so that's your remainder, that's right. This is going to be your x squared term. This is your x term, and that's your variable. So g of x can be written as 2x squared plus x minus 3 times x plus 2. And now I'm going to factor this trinomial. This trinomial, let's see if I can do that. I might use a guess and check method, though I usually use factoring by grouping. This one I might be able to do. Let's see, this is a plus and a minus. So you have one positive and one negative. So this is a 3, so I need 3 and 1. If I have, I might do this one in pencil. If I had a 3 here and a 1 here, that would be 6 and 1. So that wouldn't work. So let me try this. Let me try a 3 here and a 1 there. That'll be 3 and 2. That would work. I need a positive 1, so that means this is positive and this is negative. So there's all kinds of different ways to factor that. You just want to make sure you get it right. Let me tr check it real quick. 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times a negative 1 is minus 3. That's right. Then you have 2 times minus 1. That's a minus 2 and a positive 3. Minus 2 and a positive 3 is a positive 1. So I did it right. So this is my complete linear factorization. This was just like the last example. But I, here I want the zeros. And the zeros here are going to be, I set 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, so that's going to be a minus 3 halves. This is going to be a positive 1 and a minus 2. And those are my three zeros. Let's do one last problem. And let's write the linear factorization of x4 plus 2x3 plus x squared plus 8x minus 12 is equal to 0, given that 2i is 0. Well, the first thing is if 2i is a 0, then minus 2i is also a 0. Right? The complex conjugate theorem. Which means that x minus 2i and x plus 2i are both factors. If I foil that out, I get x squared minus 2xi plus 2xi, those cancel, so then I get a minus 4i squared. i squared is a minus 1, so that's an x squared plus 4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take g of x and I'm going to divide it by x squared plus 4. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to use polynomial long division. I can't use synthetic division because it's x squared. So I'm going to write x squared plus 4 divided into x to the 4th plus 2x to the 3rd plus x squared plus 8x minus 12. Let's divide there. x squared into x4 is x2. Multiply x4, 4x squared. That's good. I'm going to subtract. That's 0. 2x3 comes down. x squared minus 4x squared is a minus 3x squared. Bring down the 8x. I bring down the minus 12 too. 
So now I'm going to go x to the third, x squared. I'm going to pull down, I'm going to use a 2x. And I multiply, that's 2x to the third. And then that's 8x, that's going to go here. I'm going to subtract again. That's 0, that's a minus 3x squared, that's 0, minus 12. And then minus 3x squared, I'm going to multiply that by, I'm going to multiply x squared by minus 3, that's a minus 3x squared, minus 12. I'm going to subtract again and my remainder is 0. So g of x is going to equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3, x squared plus 4. Now I'm not done yet, I still need to factor, but I can factor the rest by hand. This is polynomial long division, and if you need to review that, there's a video that's called Polynomial Long Division. There's actually two uh, videos. One's polynomial long division, and the other one's more polynomial long division. So the next step is we take this right here, and we're going to, this intermediate answer, and we're going to factor the rest by hand. Uh, this is a plus and a minus, so that's going to be a plus and a minus. And what two numbers multiply to 3 and add to 2? When it's 1 plus and 1 minus, that's going to be a positive 3 and a minus 1. x squared plus 4, that's the sum of two squares, so that's going to be x plus 2i, x minus 2i. And there's your final answer right there. If you need help, on how to factor the x squared plus 4x, look at factoring squares. And there's a video on that. The world is just being flooded with videos. Well, those are the problems that we're going to do today. And good luck.